Hello to all of my YouTube viewers. Today I wanted to show you a couple of my plants and let's start with this one. It's Neoparteria. Sorry if I mispronounce it. I have this plant for about six years now and I bought it just in a regular shop without any text so I don't know its real name. Uh, maybe it's Neoparteria paucha castata. So if any one of you can tell me its real name, you are welcome to leave it in the comments down below. I'll be really grateful. For me, it's really easy to grow, really easy to maintain. It flowers each year in summer. And all its plant requires is good light and a cool winter. That's all and a little bit of water, of course. I really like the shape of this flower. I really like its color. It's just pale, quite pale. And it's about a little bit less than three inches across. Really a nice flower. And Let's continue with the second plant. And the second one is Tillandsia. It's Tillandsia caput medusa. Also, sorry if I mispronounce it, as I don't know how to pronounce it right. I have this plant for three years now, and now it's decided to flower. Maybe the flowers themselves ain't that big, ain't that beautiful as maybe orchids or cactus flowers, but they are quite cute. I don't have a lot of Tillensias. There are four of them on this block. It's just an ordinary block of a bark. And I should say that I knew nothing about Tillensis when I decided to got one of them. For me, they are pretty much like cactus in the culture. They require just a little bit of water and quite good sun, sunlight. And that's all. Even less of water than cactus. So... They are really easy to grow, but as long as I knew nothing about these plants, my first ever Tillandsia I got this sunburns. And also I never knew that the cats really like to eat Tillandsia, so my poor Ananta is in such a bad shape. Apparently, it's really tasty for cats. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And see you soon.